so welcome to another video of quality reptiles um today i gonna make a more positive video for who did not see my last videos they were a very painful uh video to make it's about uh, ifer my croc monitor he died um uh, so if you want to see more about that you can look back in my last two videos uh, but now I'm gonna make a positive video uh, about the little black dragon babies. Um, they are now uh, between two and four months old, uh, weeks old, sorry. And um, yeah, they're starting to grow. Some are already getting really big and some are still a little bit small, but the two week old babies are of course uh, a lot smaller. Um, I'm gonna feed them and I'm gonna uh, explain a little bit about all the things that I do before I sell the black dragons to the new owners so um, oh, there's a little one here I'm gonna open the door hey, little one a little bit shy still but he's also very curious oh he's gone so i have some food cut up uh herring for the babies um i'm gonna give it to them So um, I try to tame them by winning their trust. So I only uh, touch them under the chin and under the body like this. I never go over them because this way they have the feeling that they are fully in control. And I'm gonna offer them food and this also um, makes them bond with you Next to herring, I also feed uh, ground up chicken, uh, turkey, um, hare, uh, pheasant, quail, and deer, and uh, many more uh, varieties. There's also some types of fish that I have uh, ground up in my freezer. It's all from the brand Kisbrink and in Europe you can buy it in many countries uh, like in, I know it's in the Netherlands, in Belgium, Germany and the UK you can buy this, uh, this brand um, but in other countries they probably have other brands that, uh, that are similar to this Hey little ones, 
You want another one? are moments that they can also harm each other so I always try to split them up a big piece of hairy they are such beautiful animals sometimes I wish that they stayed this small and be this curious uh, their whole life like this I, I really love it if there would be a, a dwarf monitor as curious as this one From the day they are born, I uh, provide them with a very big swimming pool. Uh, it's really wonderful to see how good they can swim, just hatching out of the egg and straight away they can swim so well. Um, and I also think that it makes them very relaxed to have such a big pool. And the water is also heated to 28 degrees. So it's very uh, nice and warm. It's very cute how they grab some food and walk away like, oh, this is mine. I'm not going to share it. Uh, now he has the problem that the other one is also very curious about the food. Luckily, he brought two pieces, one for his buddy and one for him. When they come out of the egg, they always uh, open uh, with a little slice uh, in the egg. The, the slice they make with uh, an uh, egg tooth. And you can see that there's a little needle on the tip of their nose. Um, and after they cut open the egg, they often take one or two days to get out of the egg. And when they are fully out, I always check if they still have uh, a little cord on their belly. And if they do, then I keep them a little longer in the incubator. When uh, they go into their new enclosure, I um, always first chip them. I use uh, microchips. I'm allowed to do this by law because I'm uh, a business and when you're a business you can chip your animals yourself and then 
with uh, the chip reader, I will check if the chip is really in the animal. Um, this one is in the animal. So yeah, that's uh, how I do it. And uh, the day that they uh, cut open their egg will be their birthday. Uh, so I write down their birthday, uh, what their chip number is, and then uh, I can put that on their paperwork. Um, when um, they are a little bit older, like they're starting to eat and do everything, then I take them to my vet and the vet will take some blood. And on every um, blood work, I put a little sticker with the last two numbers of their chip. And this blood work I send to the university for uh, to, to take a look at the DNA to see if it's a male or a female. Um, and when I know uh, the sex normally, it's around four to six weeks old, then uh, they will go to their new homes. I already have a lot of people interested in them, so there will only be a few left. So if you are interested, let me know and uh, maybe there's still a baby for you. So obviously these little babies do not stay this small. Uh, the father is uh, 180 centimeters and the mother is uh, 120 centimeters. Um, and it's a dwarf species, so they stay a little bit smaller. So these are the mom and dad of the babies. The mom is a captive brat and the dad is a wild god. He is now 11 years old and she is from 2016, so uh, she's 8 years old. Look at this cuties. <laughs> All happy and eating. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, leave a message in the comments. Let me know what you think about this video and if you want to see more. And uh, uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you're not already did. Uh, see you in the next video.